my name is Ifoma Fafuwa and I'm a social impact theater maker living in Nigeria. My superpower is that I am not afraid to confront difficult situations, number one, but also in a, in a situation where there's a crisis, I kick into gear. So that's when I come up with very creative ideas to get things done. A lot is expected. Women are expected to manage their husbands, the children, work, the home, the in-laws, manage sort of the ego of the man, accept infidelity. So they are also branding for the family at the same time. And there's so little that they are able to do. There's a set of rules that women have to live by. African culture is a culture of storytelling and learning from stories. That's just part of our tradition. So for me, theater is just a great way to bring that history back. But I can see the effect of audiences sitting and watching a live story. It's, it's almost like you're part of that experience. Like it, it's happening again right now and you are a live member. So in that you can, you can place a whole bunch of, of messages. I use theater to just address why I believe the country is not developing. And the main thing is gender inequality, corruption, and the role of sort of religion and colonialism on those two things. I think that even though I discovered it when I started doing this work, because you, sometimes you don't know what's inside you, but I think the biggest, one of my biggest driving forces in my work is my experience in my own home of patriarchy. I feel like I was constantly being boxed in because my mother feared the environment and what the environment might do to a girl child that was loud, outspoken, and effusive. I think I always start with reality. So I listen to real stories. When I'm working, there's always discussion about what is really happening all the time. Even when there's a script, there's, the actors were still talking about who and when and how it may have happened recently or in the past. So there's always a, re a reference to reality. The creative process for me always starts with the truth. I can see stories as well. You know, picture is a thousand words. I don't need people to tell me the words. I can see the story. Nigeria is like my biggest love and my biggest disappointment in life. 